Hey there, my star friends. It's Francesca from Conscious Voltero. Thank you so much for tuning into my YouTube channel and clicking on this video. Today, I'm going to be talking about the Sirius Portal 77 Portal that actually um, is opened today on July 3rd up to July 7th, and the most um, potent energy will be received on July 7th. So, the Sirius Portal is basically a time where the star Sirius um, during the first week of July um, activates like a gateway of energy in between Earth and the star Sirius. This brings heightened vibrations and spiritual advancements to humanity. The gateway of this energy occurs as the sun comes into conjunction with the star Sirius, which is the brightest star of our universe. And it's located 14 degrees of the tropical a sign of the cancer so this typically happens every year and as the sun and the sirius conjunct in 2022 on the 4th and the 5th of july we're going to be able to access this high frequency energy and use it for creative inspiration entrepreneurial endeavors technological innovations and ideas and heightening our intuition and our sense of self so Let's talk a little bit about Sirius and this portal. Why is it so significant and what it truly means? So our sun is considered like the lifeline of this planet, right? The sun holds the energy of birth, warmth, and, and light. And it gives us life. Sirius is actually 23 times bigger than our own sun. And it's considered by our ancient um, ancestors as our spiritual sun. It helps to activate and shift our higher selves um, for spiritual awareness. And even though the star Sirius is far from the planet, it is an unimportant placement in many ancient stories and cultures. In ancient Egypt, Sirius was considered to be the star of the goddess Isis, who rules over the cycle of death and rebirth. And Anubis, the jack-handle-headed god, who was able to walk between the world of living and the world of the dead. In the shamanic cultures, Sirius was believed to be the portal of gods and journey taken through the Sirius gateway were said to be bring divine messages. It was also believed that Sirius was the portal to heaven and where our souls had to travel through in order to leave this realm and enter the next. Also in modern astrology, Sirius also holds the freedom of the vibration of freedom and its energy can help us to release limitations and um, dense energy which makes us free to express our true selves this energy of freedom can also act as inspiration and help us really get to our goals and reach the reality of our dreams ultimately what you're going to be feeling during this time and what you should take advantage of is the high frequency energy during the first week of July. It's going to be very potent where you can open and advance your spiritual awareness, receive messages and downloads from the divine and find a new way to express yourself and in your lives. During this time, it's going to be important to honor the cycles of death within yourself and rebirth to help you advance in your energy. And in order to receive this powerful energy, you're gonna to want to do a few things that I'm gonna be talking about. But first, I want to be talk. I want to talk about some of the symptoms you'll feel during this time. You're gonna be feeling a sense where you're gonna be shifting away from an old way of being. Potentially, you may not even want to eat old foods you were eating. You may potentially not even want to be around old people you were hanging around with. You're gonna potentially even want to shift your life 360 this can be your living situation your relationships right your belief systems you're going to feel repulsed to to degrade yourself um, to lower your energetic standards you may even feel a sudden shift in awareness completely seeing things in a different manner completely seeing yourself in a different way and that and at these times, it may feel a little bit 
um, scary in the sense where it's uncomfortable, it's, it's unknown, it's new territory. But in the midst of this unknown, you're going to be finding yourself entering a new dimension. And remember, all dimensions are mental. So you're going to be shifting your mental dimension. So if you feel repulsed or if you see there's events being orchestrated where things are harder to complete the way you used to live life, like there's interferences happening with you and your relationships, there's bad luck, there's there's things that are that are interfering with your daily life, that means that you need to shift out of that reality, you need to shift out of, the, out of that program, you need to shift away from those individuals, or you need to shift away from those old habits in order to ascend to the, to the divine timeline that is aligned with you and for you. So you're gonna be feeling things like that. You may also feel certain symptoms. So sudden synchronizations, um, divine synchronization such as angel numbers music um, you may suddenly run into people you know um, it's just going to feel very divine a lot of divine interventions will be occurring during this time so take a moment to reflect on that so the three things I highly um, suggest to do during this time to take advantage of these energies is number one is get a lot of sunlight go to nature go outside go to the pool go to the beach get your sunlight that's going to activate and cleanse out all your chakras it's going to purge them it's going to circulate them in order and get rid of disorder number two i suggest to activate your third eye um by really staying centered with yourself and what you're going to want to do is that you're going to want to spend some time alone. Uh, you're going to want to spend some time focusing on something. So this is not necessarily meditation. This is just more opening up your third eye. So the best way I suggest to open up your third eye is by focusing on something. Like it can be like a, a fire, like a, a lit candle. Focus on the lit candle. That can activate your third eye focusing on also like sound healing just listening to it and then just allowing your third eye to get activated and i also suggest um to to do or practice um lucid dreaming or out of body experiences that's going to really activate your third eye during this time the third thing i suggest to do of course is meditation so listening to a guided meditation and also infusing it with breath work. So you could do the breath work before and then go into a deep meditative state or do the breath work in between the meditation. And, um, and yeah, so just go deep into the meditation, allow your mind to be shifted and allow your body to just relax. And as you do this, you're going to be able to not only co-create with the energies that are available to you right now, but you're really going to be able to ascend to a higher level and, and uh, take advantage of these high frequencies. And number four, what I suggest, if you have crystals, most of you probably do. If you don't, go get yourself a crystal. During this time, I suggest to get crystals. Some other crystals I suggest during this time is pyrite, sodalite, amethyst, and um, and yeah, that's basically it. Um, any any uh, crystals that activate the third eye or any crystals that activate the crown chakra. And uh, you want to cleanse them. You want to um, charge them as well, and you want to put them near your bed. So when you're sleeping, you can get out-of-body experiences and just have deep dreams because the, the Cyrus Gateway and Portal is a magical time to open yourself to these energies, to follow your intuition, and to deepen your spiritual awakenings and insights that are already awaiting for you. So take this time to also um, access your spirit guides, access your angels and access um 
any any beloveds that have transcended to the other side this is a time for star seed so if you know you are a star seed if you know you are an indigo child this is your time to actually awaken to higher um, energies and last but not least i just want to say that this is going to be a period of time where our thinking and our decision making is going to be very heightened and fluent so don't hold back from making these decisions you know you're meant to make or you know you want to make you're going to be suited to deal with everything that comes your way in a refined order that doesn't impact you so meaning leaving old things behind or redesigning your fate it's going to be easier than it was in the last few weeks or months you're going to be able to approach obstacles or difficult individuals or difficult aspects of your life in a much easier way with flow so it's going to be a perfect time to make these plans and place seeds to nourish and take care of yourself as this time passes so that's about it my star friends i hope you enjoy the series gateway portal and if you want a personal reading you can go to my uh, website and you can book a reading there or you could also book a reiki healing which will ascend which will assist and help you ascend um, your energies during this time which can assist you in elevating your frequency and helping you manifest the life of your dreams take care my star friends bye now